Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. I am back with another Ankh Guardian and this is Neck Bet and she is primed in leather brown. I was able to get her primed with the aerosol can. Uh, it was a little nicer weather outside so I was able to get it quick but I had to do it in my garage more than anything else. As we're starting off with uh, some Banshee Brown dry brush on the rock and then some uh, Corpse Pale on the feathers. I wanted to have a brown undertone on this miniature because it is a bird. I wanted to have uh, like it's a, it's a vulture and so there's it had really nice white wings uh, but like with an undertone of like beige's brown on the artwork so I did it that way and then I'm using some fur brown and I didn't realize how uh, this has like a orange hue to it or almost like a red hue to it so it's like a bright brown which is kind of interesting and uh, it was supposed to be very dark brown around the neck but I'll put a, a tone on it later on to darken it up a bit uh, but for now I'm just going to use this uh, fur brown as you can see you can see on top of the leather brown how it's like so bright it almost looks orange actually so but it I mean you can use like any kind of dark brown on this and it'll work out perfectly fine. Uh, the next color we're going to be using is um, Scar Tissue. So this is my new favorite tentacle red actually. I was always using tentacle red for like this pinkish skin color I wanted to use. So this is going to be used for his hands and his feet, or her hands I should say, and her feet. I keep saying him but it's a her. Uh, I looked up online and uh, she's a goddess of some sort. I can't remember exactly what it was but anyways. So just get those little hands, those little fingers, uh, and then she's got some skin underneath uh, that brown fur that's going around, I guess her crown, I guess you could call her her crown of fur. Um, and so you got some skin there. And then later on I noticed, I thought the foot was part of the, like I thought it was the rock, but it was actually part of the foot. So when I'm painting the talons, I noticed I missed some of the pink, so I fixed that up off camera. But as you can see, looking at it, I don't know if you can notice from this angle, but, because uh, it goes kind of fast, but it looks like it's part of the rock, but it really is its foot. Anyways, move along, right? All right, we're gonna use some skeleton bone just for the tip of the beak, a little bit underneath the like the bone of the the head, the, the mouth kind of thing. I don't know what you want to call this part, but just underneath there. And also, we're gonna do a dry brush of the fur that's and the feathers that are on the under part of this miniature. So you're gonna see that I'm gonna catch like uh, the belly, uh, the top part of the legs, like the the, the I guess that's the uh, what do you call that the. Uh, um, anyways, those parts <laughs> I can't remember uh, and. Yeah, so as you can see though, but I'm starting to notice like skeleton bone, corpse pale, uh, whatever else I used on a while ago, they almost have the same tone on them. Anyways, we're using some lava orange to finish, uh, to work on the beak a little bit more. Uh, you might want to put two coats of this, it's, it's very liquidy, so you just let it dry, put a second coat on there. A little bit of Mars red now, just to blend in uh, to the head, this is what was on the miniature, some red, orange, and then that skeleton bone at the end. Uh, comes out looking, I, I find, really nice. I find I did a really good job on his head. A little bit of dark oat, oak, not oat, oak, for the talons. Uh, that's just the nails. And this is where I know it. So I was like, wait, that's not the rock. That's its foot. So I, I fixed that. Now, I didn't mention there are three of these in uh, Ankh, Gods of Egypt. Uh, so I painted them all identical. So I'm just going to show the one that I'm painting here. Uh, now I'm mixing up a little bit of matte white with a lot of fairy dust. Fairy dust is a game effect that adds a little bit of glitter to any color you're doing. So it doesn't give it a metallics look, but it just gives it a, a glitter. Now, with the white, it didn't quite do what I wanted. So what I should have done, and maybe anyone else should do if they're painting this miniature, is put white first, and then apply some of that uh, fairy dust afterwards. Because I found that the the white just stayed there, and then it did it was kind of blotchy looking, uh, it wasn't very perfect, and it didn't even give it a shine. Even with the wash after, it, it just still didn't shine that much. Now we're using a little bit of bright gold just on those uh, that chain that she's wearing around her neck. Very simple. Uh, she's not very ordained here with a lot of uh, stuff on her. We're going to use a little dark tone now on the entirety of the rock. And uh, I had noticed I had forgot to uh, paint the skulls that were on the front, but anyways, I did that. And as you can see now, the dark tone is doing a really good job on this rock, keeping that dry brush highlighting there and then getting into the brown and making it a little bit darker. So I also forget to do around its neck on that fur brown a while ago. So I got that done off camera as well. Now we're using a little arid earth for the top part of her scepter. 
Uh, this was, I thought it was going to be a little bit more yellow than that, but anyways. Now we're using light tone on pretty much the rest of the miniature. You'll notice I haven't done the arms yet because we're going to be doing that a little later on because we're going to do some dry brushing. Uh, I'm putting on the entirety of the scepter as well. Uh, the yellow peaks a little bit more now with the arid earth than it did with before. Uh, so this is going on the entirety of the miniature except for the rock, of course. And then I'm using some brain matter beige, which is another color where I notice is almost the same as like skeleton or their skeleton bone and corpse pale and all that. Uh, so I'm doing the arms now, the face on top of that pink, just because it had a pink uh, background hue on it. And I'm doing the entirety of the feathers again, just going downwards with the brush, not going back up, just so that the brown and the other colors and the wash seep through. So there you have it, folks. Neck bet is painted, ready for the table. I hope you enjoy. Hit that like button, and we'll catch you all in the next one.